My name's James Miller and I'm primarily a portrait photographer uh, with a specialism in the wet plate collodion process, also known as tintype. It's a process I've fallen in love with over the last seven years because it's a return to picture making as a craft really. Um, every bit has to be handmade from start to finish and it's not always, it doesn't always work out and, and there's lots of serendipity and little artifacts which appear in the images but that's what makes it special for me because each plate is a one-off and can't be re reproduced. The thing I love about being a portrait photographer is you get to be in the orbit of people who are far more interesting than yourself um, and Foy Vance falls into that category. Uh, he's a rare musical talent, a natural raconteur and a, a, and a great wit but he also has a deep sensitivity about him and that's what I was hoping to capture in, this, in these series of images. Well, I first met Foy at an impromptu gig at a dusty bar in Weem in Perthshire. And, uh, I mean, it's an absolute powerhouse of a performance. It real, really real blew me away. Um, and so I mustered up the courage afterwards and asked him if he'd maybe pop round and do a few couple of pictures uh, in my little studio in Aberfeldy. Um, and he did. He rocked up the next day and we made just two wet plate pictures. And he liked them so much that they went on to become the next uh, two images on his, on his next two albums, um, which was fantastic and we decided that we would like to work together in the future. This picture is one in a series of five tintypes we made um, and this followed on from uh, ch some chats around masculine and feminine archetypes and this is a subject we wanted to explore in this uh, in the set of pictures. So firstly we shot Foy as a pugilist, a prize fighter, an kind of ultra masculine kind of uh, role and then um, Heather, my wife, did Foy's makeup, and then halfway through that, we stopped with a with a, with, a, with a skull cap on, and we came out and shot a picture of him looking more like kind of Rembrandt, the kind of kind of vibe. Um, then, after we'd done his makeup, we moved on to a punky Debbie Harry kind of thing, uh, and the fourth picture was uh, as as Cristal uh, with with a, with a with a with a sparkly dress on and a blonde wig and a very ultra feminine kind of look. And then, but then we were going to stop there, but the, the, the fifth shot actually was the most interesting. When we took the dress off, it, it occurred to us, wouldn't it be great to go back to that original masculine pose, but with the makeup on? And when that image emerged in the fixing bath, it was both terrifying and kind of delicate. Um, a bit like a Sherman tank with lipstick and eyeliner. Um, and it was just that shot, which was just kind of really arresting and just, 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 just the kind of yeah, that, that, that had to be the picture. 